been doing a lot of thinking. Not really, haven't really been doing a lot of thinking. I don't do a lot of that. Everyone's a Marvel fan nowadays, right? I mean, how can you realistically not be? Marvel movies have pretty much dominated pop culture for the past, uh, like, 12 years, 11 years, since 2008, whatever. So they're huge, right? Like, everyone's a big Marvel fan. Yeah, 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 that's cool. I am too, I'll say it. It's not slowing down anytime soon. Marvel fans are kind of crazy. Just like a little bit. Well, I don't think they're crazy. They're passionate. I think they're passionate. If you're like me, you somehow ended up on Jimmy Woo TikTok. I think that just goes to show how much power the Marvel fans have, right? Especially with WandaVision and, you know, we've got a whole age of shows coming out that are just going to dominate the streaming charts for God knows how long. So, um, where does that leave DC fans? <laughs> You're either just like a normal DC fan or Zack Snyder fan. <laughs> Maybe you are also passionate about Zack Snyder and the fact that he's a visionary director. I too watched Watchmen in high school and I thought it was pretty cool. I haven't seen the original Justice League and I'm not planning on watching a four hour version of that because that sounds uh, too much for me. All that being said, if you're a fan of either one of these franchises, good for you. That's cool. I'm a fan too. I'll watch it. I'll watch them all probably. Obviously, I'm wearing an Empire Strikes Back sweater, so you know I'm about that life. But anyways, I saw this video on Jubilee, you know, small little channel, and it says six Marvel fans versus one secret DC fan, a part of their Odd Man Out series. So uh, since we had so much fun last time with the anime fan, I figured I would watch this one and have some fun with it. Here we go. How can you tell if someone is a true Marvel fan? You just can. Again. Is it by their collection of Marvel merchandise? Yes. We brought together seven Marvel fans. We have top left dude, middle left girl, top right dude, top right girl, bottom left guy, bottom middle girl, and then bottom right girl. Bless you. Let's start over here. Obviously, a Marvel fan. She's got the Avengers Endgame sweater. You know she watched that at least twice in the movie theaters. Also, it looks like she's got Captain America shield hanging up, as well as Captain America lamp or piggy bank. And not only one, but one, two, three, four Captain America Funko Pops. That's a lot of Funko Pops. He's got on the full Captain America outfit. Good for him. Good for him. That's awesome. I bet he's ripped too. She's got the Amazing Spider-Man cutout that you would see in the movie theater. Like you're walking in the movie theater and you're like, oh, I'm about to go spend $15 on popcorn. Oh, what's this? A new cutout for the new Spider-Man? That's what she has. She took that home. Illegally. I can't tell if any of these other people are actual Marvel fans based on their webcam. Me, you probably can tell I'm a Marvel fan too. Because you know what? That's not my only personality trait. I can do this all day. That's basically my game. Okay, that is a Captain America quote. Of course she would say that. I don't know why I'm nervous because I am a Marvel fan. That was not convincing at all. I need to know you do more than watch the movies. Everyone watches the movie. What's with all this gatekeepy stuff? I need to know that you do more than watch the movies. What else are you supposed to do? Read. Readings for losers. As you can see. This dude's legit. Does anyone else have any Marvel tattoos? Ooh, can we see it? I got to add her name to the color, but... Oh, wow. very nice. Wow. Okay. Wow. What Marvel tattoo should I get? Thinking about getting Groot on my butt. Yeah, I'm a cosplayer. This I can wear this suit too. I've been to several different conventions and this is what I do for fun. Put it on. Put it on. Who's your guys' uh, favorite characters? 
I think it might be him. That shirt is not convincing enough. I literally like every iteration of like first Spider-Man movies. I think Tom Holland did the best job. Because he looked like a teenager. Yeah, he looked like a <laughs> like teenager. Like he looked like a kid. Everyone watches these movies, no matter who. It's like, you could say literally anything about any of the movies and be like, I didn't really like Thor 2. No one liked Thor 2. You're not special. I'm definitely going to vote Eric this round. The other people gushing about Marvel stuff, Eric seemed very dry about it. Who I am voting off for this round is Eric. I think I'm going to go for Eric. I just noticed he had a Captain America shirt. See you guys. It's a shirt. My best friend had a Captain America shirt in 2006. The movies weren't out yet, but I'll tell you what, he didn't even know Captain America's real name. Because neither did I back then. And this is the show and tell round, also known as the Marvel Flex round. You will have 10 minutes to search and gather your most prized Marvel related merchandise. When did it become that like Funko Pops were like the default way of like showing that you're a fan of something? Was there a specific time and date? October 15th. 2017 was that the date that like Funko Pops took over? I'm assuming, yeah. I mean, it's glorious. Like, we get it. You're safe. We get it. That was the garbage coming to pick up all the Marvel fans. This is harder than I thought it would be. It's not that hard, my dude. You're wearing literally Captain America's costume. You're fine. You don't need merch to be a Marvel fan. Good for you, Gwen. Good for you. My Stan Lee dwarves and I got it signed. What the fuck are dwarves? What? What are dwarves? Dwarves? Dwarves are small final figurines factured. There's a... Funko had children? And the most significant, uh, in that summer, I worked a lot with children and we made DIY superheroes, you know, show them creativity over conflict. Kids? Nah, man. This guy's a fake fan. And then I also wanted to show off that I drive an Iron Man car. Jarvis, you there? Got yourself a sec. Imagine having that much money to buy an Iron Man themed car with Jarvis. Here is the print. So like that, I got the background of purple, but that is the Star-Lord tattoo. You know what I'm just realizing? That tower, the leaning tower of DVDs, that's not safe. Please get a shelf or something. So my favorite X-Men story, God Loves Man Kills, signed by Chris Claremont. Do you like anything else in the Marvel Universe or is it like just an X-Men thing for you? I like the Avengers. They're actually, no, I don't. They're all, they're all right. <laughs> I like the Avengers as far as like being part of the story. Is this going to be some sort of cop out where it's like she doesn't like Marvel. She just likes X-Men comics. I would be very upset about that. I wouldn't be too upset about it, but like I'd be like, eh, that's a dumb loophole. That's what I would be. I grew up in India, so I couldn't buy comics because there were no comic book stores. So when my mom would travel for work, she would bring back comics for me. Do you read the comics too? or? There she goes. Do you read the comics too? When the movies and stuff started coming out, I would always read the comics that had to do with those. And then especially during like Infinity Stones and all of that came into play, or as they call it, Infinity Gems. In the, in the comics, like I, I started like reading all of this. So I read all of the Infinity Gauntlet. Ooh, dropping some real knowledge up in here. I would have very confidently voted for Marin this round, I think, until just kind of hearing her personal story. I don't want to vote someone off who just doesn't have the ability to have as much stuff as other people because like not everybody can like nobody can afford all this crap that's called privilege i'm definitely most suspicious of marin now I you're wrong man i'm going marin uh... this is this is messed up Let us see. You can't not feel this. I am inevitable. Tony goes, and I am Iron Man. Is he tearing up right now? 
dude, it's okay, man. It's just a movie. I tear up just thinking about it. Seriously. I... Damn, he was seriously tearing up. Fake fan. They have that conversation without actually having to say, with great power comes great responsibility. It's when you can do the things I do, but you don't, and then the bad things happen, they happen because of you. That didn't make any sense. So I'm going to go outside of the MCU, and I'm going with Logan because... I think it's I I think it is Bobby because she keeps bringing up non MCU stuff and this is like who's a Marvel fan she keeps talking about X Men stuff I think it is Bobby just giving his all to get those kids safe I'm sorry <laughs> like when they put the cross and they made it an X like I cried like a little bitch in that movie like Logan is probably the the best comic book movie next to the dark knight so like i i i respect this i'm gonna go with the gut and say michael again it's, it's the only thing i know to do and the person eliminated this round i think it's gonna be michael and i think they might have already kicked out the the imposter insert among us meme is michael if everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. If the majority has doubt, the game will continue. We're going to end the game right here. I swear, if it was Bobby. I think it is Bobby. She was like kind of laughing a little bit. She's like, <laughs> If the color that shows up is green, you all win. Three, two, one. Okay, okay, okay. I would like the mold to please reveal yourself in three, two, one. It was me, baby. Ooh. I knew it. I knew it. I actually didn't see that coming. I should have known. I got to keep my eye out for fake apparel. We learned last time that a t-shirt doesn't mean that you're a fan. We should all continue talking. I really like you guys. Is that something that they make them say at the end of all of these? It's like... I think we all really bonded today. Let's start a group chat. And then two weeks later, no one's talking in that group chat. All right, well, that was fun. I, again, guessed wrong. So maybe I'm not a real fan. If you like this video, that's cool. Maybe I'll see you next time. If not, that's cool too. Peace.